In order to save CPU decoding power for multiple cameras, you can configure the cameras to, by default, stream in lower resolution, and then when the user selects uh, a camera in the surveillance client, then switch to a higher resolution image. For example, this image here, is by default VGA resolution, but if I click on the image, it will automatically switch to a higher megapixel image with a, which I can do uh, digital zoom and work. This would be the recording profile that we are changing on the fly. And if I deselect the image, it goes back, back to VGA resolution. So when you have many, many cameras on the screen, it's just a waste of CPU or GPU decoding uh, power to decode higher high resolution images if you're not actually using it. So it's a it's a very uh, good it's a very good um, configuration that you can set up in the administration client here per camera. So in the camera, you're gonna select the live view, what's the default visualization profile. And then you have these options, switch media profile on camera selection. And then you select, for example, the recording profile in this case. The recording profile for this camera is a high resolution recording uh, profile. And the, and the visualization profile is uh, configured at a, low, uh, at a lower resolution media profile, like that, VGA and the recording is configured at a uh, very high resolution. So you can switch it on the fly by just clicking on the image or by using the right mouse button and media profile and then you change it here, for example. So I want all my cameras to be, uh, these already on the recording, I want this camera to be on recording and I want uh, this camera to be on recording as well. So now I get full resolution from all my cameras and I can save a view with the selected media profile. So the next time that I load my view, it's also, it also will load the saved and the, the, my current selected media profile, which is the recording profile.